So let's start in this gallery here. Um, I think the first thing that I want to ask you is to tell us a little bit about your background, your education, and, and how you got into painting. Sure. So I was born in Brooklyn in 1985. Uh, lived in New York my whole life, pretty much. I uh, went to Xavier on 16th Street while I was there at the high school. Um, I was an intern at the Met in the education department when I was 16, 17. That experience was very fundamental in integrating art into my life, and it never left after that. I went to NYU for my bachelor's and spent two years in Baltimore at the Hofburger School of Painting at the Maryland Institute of College of Art for grad school, my MFA, and I'm back in New York. This is my first solo show, and I'm happy to be here. Uh, one, one of the things that um, is very clear about your work is that you're, you're showing two very distinct types of work. Yeah. Would you like to talk a little bit about that? What's the difference in The two bodies of work that I have been working on, I decided to call them introverts and extroverts relative to the persuasion of my consciousness at the time I'm working, pretty much. Um, and uh, those are the two bodies of work that are in this show. Okay, then why, why don't you point out which are the extrovert? Sure. And tell us about the process. I, yeah. I think one of the things that uh, I know about your work is that both bodies of work are process driven. Yes. And so it's important to understand how you do it. Sure, absolutely. So if we were to swing around over here to this shot, um, so this would be a painting I'd call an extrovert, and then each of these I would call an introvert. Um, so this is a frieze of what I'm calling galaxy caves. Uh, they're all individual paintings, but I've decided to hang them this way because it's how I work in my studio. One is informed by the following painting because I just hang them next to each other as I would finish them, so they inform each other and I wanted to show them like that. So if we were to zoom in a little bit closer to one of them, um, you can see there are a lot of layers in each of them. Um, so the final passage, let's say, um, involves me taking oil paint and thinning it with stand oil and solvent, a little bit of Damar, to the point where it's like a sticky, runny yogurt. And I take a plastic stick and I apply each mark individually. Uh, and that's you for work flat. Too. I do, they're always flat. I, once the solvent dries out of them, they're viscous enough to lean up, but not until that point. So that's how this final passage is made. But underneath you can see like this mark most of these paintings were from a previous body of work that I called the frequency fields, um, which after about two years of looking at them, I felt they were not fully resolved. So I pretty much painted over every single one of them. So that's the introverts. And for the extroverts, these are um, acrylic and alcohol, as opposed to oil for the other ones. So just to give you an idea of how I make them, um, each of these forms is, a, is really a strip of wood that I put underneath the canvas. I hammer thumbtacks into it, and I paint on the canvas on the top of it. And the edges are determined by the width of the wood. Um, so then I pull it off. The voids that are left, which is the raw canvas, and I proceed to do another layer, or another shape next to it, so to speak. Um, these passages, which seem pretty faint, are actually painted on the other side. So that's where the alcohol comes in, it brings the surface tension of the paint, and it absorbs into the canvas. And you do the same thing with the wood on the other side. Yes, it's the exact same process on the other side. Yeah. Okay, well thank you very much, you. and I, I just want to mention that um, the exhibition will be on through Saturday, the 13th, 
and I hope uh, everyone will come to see it who, who have not been here yet. They're fabulous, fantastic paintings, and, um, and, and you should definitely be here. <laughs>